hi everybody and welcome to my channel where you can gain arty tips and have fun enjoy welcome back hope you're all well um lovely to be here um today i thought i'd do something a little bit different um i'm going to do a little bit of a review of some of the sketchbooks um i'm really into sketchbooks i love them i've got loads i've got in fact i've got well i've got a lot so i've got a small pile here of different kinds that you can get i thought you might be interested in seeing what's out there and um, some people are only just getting into sketchbooks and um, it's quite it can it's a big sketchbook world out there um so um i've picked out some of the ones that i use and that i find that have worked really well so without further ado i'll just point the camera down so you can see there Okay, so I'm going to start off with the C White uh, sketchbook. Some of them are going to have a little bit of work in, but I've tried to pick some out that I haven't got hardly any in. They've got the rubber band over the top to start with. Let me move these out of the way so that you can see. Some of them have got the um, elastic banding over the top. Um, this is a C White, beautiful. Um, Sea White of Brighton, you can look it up online. Um, I think you can only get them in the UK, but you can get them off of Amazon really, really cheap. Um, if you go over to uh, Jane Aldridge um, Crafts, um, she'll be able to get them in for you if you're abroad and she, she, I don't know how much she'll charge to send them abroad for you, but um, she can supply you with Sea White. This was um this is a beautiful book. It's watercolor paper, but the pages are thick. They are very durable. They take a good beating with the paint. Um, the uh, the grain is beautiful. It's quite a coarse grain. Um, so um, you know, it, it is very sort of um, very sort of how do I put it? Um you know it, it, it's going to show the grain up on your work as you're working so um it's a beautiful book it's got the um the bookmark that you can have down the center and at the back it's got the beautiful pocket this if you was out and about sketching you can place something in there it, it's not for things like pens and things but um you know it just is a simple uh thing to slip in you might be out there and you might bring back i don't know a couple of daisies and put them in a plastic bag and want to you know uh, squash them flat and uh, you know you might want to press them when you get home and things like that or you know you, you th there's lots of things that you can put in the back pocket um um like i say and um, this is c white <coughs> excuse me so that's a c white book and that one measures that's the six b eight which is about six b eight and a half nice rounded edges nice thick watercolor paper now you can get this book as well in just that it's almost like a mixed media paper it's a, a, there's a smooth you know there's a smooth paper so uh, yes that's another one okay so that's the sea white okay then i'm moving on in comparison now to the moleskin the moleskins are very popular for people who do urban sketching um in comparison this is a beautiful book obviously it's moleskin and um again with the elastic band um and then it's also got inside it it's also got the um the you know the bookmark part um the one thing that's really nice about this kind of book it it, it stays open okay it's it's nice and flat although you know i still would you put on here on the corners a couple of bulldog clips if i was out and about and again it's got that beautiful marker and then in the back again it's got the famous back pocket this this book it's beautifully made i mean this is this is material here um very strong 
absolutely beautiful the paper is a smooth finish um, but it take it still takes a beating it does slightly buckle um if for watercolor because it's, you know it's not a watercolor book but it's not watercolor paper but it, it this is the back of it look and that's not too bad and i've really given that a beating with that and you, i've missed a couple of pages here you can see it does buckle slightly it very slightly uh, but there was a heck of a lot of water on these pages so you know I did really give it a, a beating and then of course um, in the uh, front of this book of the moleskin book as well it's got a beautiful emblem there and then um, a bit where it says in case of loss please return to and I've just put Susan Priest and it's uh, as a reward and then there's a dollar sign which is quite a nice little additive uh, but to me, um, I've been out and sketched with this and the sea white and I have actually prefer the moleskin um, just because it's beautiful to work on and everything can do. Uh, I wouldn't really be battering the page as much if I was urban sketching to be fair. Um, I was using a lot of water in the watercolour paint so uh, so far to me um, I mean, you can get these in watercolour paper as well. Um, this one is um, 8 by 5 But what I do like about it is, again, you can do the single pages here and or you can treat it as a double. And, uh, and I like it because of the way that it's shaped, you know, you can do... So you can do a narrow picture here. The problem that you've got, you see, with the C white, with it going the opposite way... I'll just show you, it, with it going landscape, you're buying a book that is landscape, which means that you've more or less got to do landscape. Um, you know, um, when you start to try and put other things in, you know, it, it doesn't look the same. You'd have to turn it if you wanted to do it another, you know, another way. But um, that's just buying them like that. You can buy sea white like this. So, um, Sea White has a large choice, but out of these two, I prefer the moleskin. So that's that's just my preference. I think it's a beautiful book, and everything in it that I want to do, it's kind of precious. And moving on to the Sea White Concertina book, um, this is the pocket size one. Lovely little book. Why I like this book is because the this little concertina book is because it is only little, um, and I can stretch this out like full length, and it's just the full length of my arms outstretched, and I'm only four foot ten, so um, that's a, a really nice, a really nice one. And they stay, they stay nice. They, you can you can hear it and you can feel it. It's hard. Um, it's good. Uh, it's good paper. Um, it's only um, single, but um, oh no, sorry, it isn't. It's double. I do apologise. It is. It's. It is double. And then of course you can do the other side, which I've done here. Part. Part. Part done here. This isn't. This isn't a full one. But um, yes, um, and these take a lot of beating. Uh, Obviously, it's not going to stay together itself, so I just slip a little band around it and just keep it like that. Absolutely brilliant. You can see the size of my hand. Like I said, I'm four foot ten. That's the pocket concertina book. Fantastic. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're moving on to the octopus book. This was one of my favourites. Um, I decorated this one. And um, it opens out... Or it can stand up because it's on the binder here so you can stand it up and you can work on it however that you want so you could work on it like that as like a miniature little easel um for some people make them more complicated than what they are you know um it comes it says see white of brighton and it's a binder as i said and it opens up in this as eight arms there are four oh hang on a minute one one arm one, two, three, with four pages. And of course, same on the other side. The idea of these are to have a full display is to open them right out. So you've got one long arm like this. It's almost like a concertina book. Um, and it folds up 
similar to a concertine book. So you have, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven, eight, I was right. It's got eight arms to it. Um, and you just, and as I say, you just open them out and you work on them like that. The good, uh, and then to display it, obviously, you then pull out the other side. That's if you want to. I was into pens at this uh, at this moment in time on here. Um, you, you've seen me doing this, a great for neurographic work or whatever. Um, on this book, it's a lot thicker. If you're going to be sticking things in and gluing and sticking, like most of these pages are, some of them I've taken them out of things because I've liked them and I've kept them and I've just glued them in. Um, then uh, one with a binder is perfect because it's not going to puff up and be fat on one side. So, and if you work on both sides, gluing and sticking and putting everything in, it will just remain the same width all the way around. That's the same with the concertina book if you use both. Okay, so that's the octopus book. Love, love, love these. One thing to think about with these is that the paper is thin. It's only one sheet and it's quite thin paper and it's like a mixed media paper this is in an octopus book. So that's the octopus book. And then this is the sea white size A4 concertina book. I thought this would be an amazing book, but being honest, I'm a little bit disappointed with this one. Uh, showing you from the blank side. It's kind of like, it's a lovely big thick book. And you're thinking to yourself, oh yes, just look at that for a concertina book. Oh my God. You know, it's it's thick, it's um, it's it's double ply, you know, um, so you do, can do both sides, really beautiful. So why don't I like it? Or this is why I don't like it. As soon as I started to paint on the inside, can't find the right way around if excuse me. As soon as I started to paint on the inside, I soon realised that because the pages was big, and this is if I was doing using watercolour and collage, the pages um, started to split straight away. Any water that got in those creases and it split and it ripped straight away, I had to glue them back together. Um, which was very annoying because I've done a lot of work and yeah, you know, it's nice to have a lot of room to work, but when the page splits, it's very disappointing. So I didn't, I didn't like that about it. I have to say, oh, that's my fault. It's stuck together there, but as a, as a concertina book and a big size and it opens out, wow, you know, it's great. And, um, I've seen other people uh, who use all these sketchbooks in a different way to way I use them um you know if you was taking it out on location um as with as a sketchbook great fantastic because you know you can if you were just working on two pages like this you've got the hard back bit and you can just put elastic band again or bull, a bulldog clips on each corners and it holds it in place and that's all great but like I said the thing I didn't like was it it, it ripped which meant that I got to repair it or I'd got to concentrate on when I did a uh, collage that it was going to be uh, going over the page um, in the seal to help to strengthen the pages, which is disappointing. Um, and um, yes, but I did, I did love it. It was lovely, uh, the lovely size to work on. I mean, that's like, you know, that's a really big picture when it's opened out, isn't it? Look, it's like uh, 11, well, it's over 11 inch, 11 and a half inch by 16 inch went to work on, which is fantastic in one sitting. So that's lovely. And then obviously much more impressive when you open it out. That's if you're ever going to bother. The thing is, um, I think if you if you if you'd got um uh, if you've got work in a gallery or something or an exhibition of some sort, I think that if you um, if you put 
one of these underneath your work on a table and opened it out it would be impressive but there's the tiny pocket one look and that's impressive as well when that that's opened out you see more you you, you know your area that you're working on is uh, is only this big now so it's good for you to ha go from small to large but when you're going from small this size to this size you know you're there aren't you ready to do to that's quite a, a large size painting to be able to start working your way up to be going bigger and bigger um i have a friend i keep getting on at her she does the most amazing work and i'd just love to see it bigger because she's oh her works out of this world so again uh, that was another c white um, if you was using acrylic paint on in these big books, I don't think you'd have a problem because the paint's strong because it is a glue and I don't think you'd have a problem at all. But for watercolour uh, and mixed media and ink and, you know, and running, and running your inks about and your water and things, I think that it might, that might be a problem. Let me just bring you back up here. I feel like I'm just talking. You're just talking to a book. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, yeah. So the big, the big one. It is good. Um, but not really for watercolor and ink for running water. I don't think unless you're securing it. Um, yeah. So and the pocket size one. Yeah, love it. That's my favorite. And uh, out of the sea white and the moleskin, I love the moleskin even though the pages buckle i look at it like this if you've done some beautiful work and you want to save it and you want it not mine aren't exhibition books i do do book i do have books where i just go out there you've seen me i just scribble or or whatever and mark make and 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 things like that but this book i wanted this one to be different and this is more like a display book because i wanting to go out there and paint something that i like and that i see so for instance so this would be treat so this is the wheat field yeah and so I took a nice photo of it and things like that and then you know this one is different i do want to have this as a display book not for anybody else really but for myself and another one look that's just some random grasses with those, you know those little pink flowers that you see and purple flowers everywhere when you when you're out walking and things and i was you know how i've been working on greens well again that's been brilliant for that so that's just about it really but i just thought that you'd all be interested and i hope it's helped somebody um because you see all these ones you you know you go onto amazon and you see there's even if you go on to see white you just think to yourself oh my goodness there's there must be a million you know a million kind of books there which one do i pick and which one's good and which one isn't um to me see white are all good um but like i say if the bigger your book you go, you really need to be thinking about acrylics. Unless you're doing a picture where, like I normally do where I tape it off around the edge like you've seen me do with the, the one that I've just shown you. And you're just working in the middle of the page um, or on one of the pages. Then that would be they would be amazing because you've got an A4 picture on you and it's just going to be lovely. So if you went out and you was doing representational pictures of trees and things like that and um, you know absolutely amazing yeah you will love it um and the a4 one it's good they've got a lot of pages in them and uh, the moleskin one's good as well because uh um it's got i think it's 190 pages in there and look at it it's so it's so thin and petite and i thought you know if i really loved this book and treasured it um what would be really nice is you could even go back if necessary and iron the pages couldn't you um you know put a tea towel over it open your book out a slip of tea towel in and just rub an iron over it, it will all go you'll all, all, you know there'll be no you know but i did use a lot a lot of water on this and i, and I didn't need to really so um yeah um i am working on my watercolor and so uh <laughs> but um yes so I hope uh, that you've enjoyed the video and I hope it helps somebody out there. And um, so get those sketchbooks and come on and uh, get out there, like I say, and have fun. Okay, see you all soon. Bye.